Okay, this is Bill Markley, and I'm talking to Mr. Wayne Wright, and it is September 26, 2013. And thanks, Mr. Wright, for joining us. Um, could you just first tell us your birth date and birthplace? Uh, <clears throat> September 20th, 1945, Granville, Ohio. Okay, and uh, what were your parents' names? Uh, father was Swayze, and my mother's name was Anna. Okay, and how many brothers and sisters did you have? Uh, we had uh, <clears throat> three brothers and three sisters. No, two two brothers. I had two brothers and three sisters. Okay. So a total of six of us all together. Okay. And what about were you in the children's home? It seems to me like the date was, uh, I'm going to say 1952, and I don't know if that's the exact date or not. But We can, uh, that's okay. We can check. Now this... There's mistakes in this register, okay. but we can check in here. So, um, let's see. This, according to this, you went in in '52. Okay. And then 1956 return to parents. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Does that does that sound? Yeah, right uh, I was. I've kind of based it on uh, what year of school I was in. Uh, okay. Because I went to. Hazelwood School in second okay. grade, and that's when we were there. So that would be around fifty-two. Um, what do you remember? What are, what are your first memories of the place? Uh, my first memories were—I um, have a lot of them—but my first memories were uh, uh, just how uh, they segregated the boys and the girls. One end there was the girls in, and the other girls was the boys in. Basically, uh, an open bay type barracks type living uh, huh. or sleeping quarters. Uh, we always had a seems like we always had a lot to do and uh, had a lot of fun doing it. You know, played uh, a lot of games. Uh, the younger boys and girls kind of took care of the uh, the ground, so to speak, where the older older guys worked uh, with the animals that they had there. They had uh, milk cows and pigs, chickens. The older boys were responsible for uh, doing the chores, so to speak, on the, at the farm. Uh, the younger ones, uh, in the summertime, we uh, kind of worked in the uh, garden area that they had there with a gentleman, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Oxley. Uh, and I believe he was of German descent, but uh, it was. Uh, I enjoyed my my, my stay there. Uh, there was quite a few people were there at the time. I don't know exactly how many. But, uh, uh -huh. And then uh, every year we used to have a ice cream social, and we got to uh, give uh, tours of the of the children's home. Did you give some of those tours? Yes, I did, and then. Uh, still remember in the fall when the leaves would, would fall that uh, we always built forts like out in the front yard and, and uh, the kids would play all kind of games, war games. And, uh, I remember doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, what, what really uh, uh, sticks in my mind is uh, every year along about Christmas time, and I don't know whether it happened every year or not, but I remember a couple of years. Uh, People from Rockwell would come down and they would take us Christmas shopping, buy us uh, mainly clothes and shoes and maybe a couple toys that we'd have at Easter or at Christmas time. Uh, but it was a good experience, I, I think, for good. myself. I mean, uh, you know, of course, it uh, wasn't wasn't home, but uh, mm -hmm. it was. Uh, wasn't institutionalized, so to speak. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, mom and pop Zerger uh, were very good to us. Uh, we had uh, quite a few uh, people there that helped them out. I remember Clyde Phil uh, Phillips was, uh, he was kind of in charge of the farm work, so to speak. And his son was uh, Bill. He, Kind of helped him a lot. 
company had a big laundry room. Uh, they did the laundry, and uh, all you remember is her first name was Alice. She was in charge of the laundry. <clears throat> and uh, every Saturday, we always had uh, soup, beans, and cornbread for dinner. <laughs> I remember hearing about that. <laughs> yeah, and it was, yeah. and uh, it was a nice dining facility. I mean, you know, it, uh, you have, uh, what, I guess there was maybe 120, 130 kids in the home at the time. Uh, it, was, uh, it was nice. And you made a, met an awful lot of different people uh, and different different attitudes and that type of thing, but it was, it was it, I enjoyed it while I was there. Good. Uh, used to play an awful lot of softball games, they had a softball diamond there. Uh, was that in the back of the building? Yeah, it was, it was to the uh, west side of the building, west, yeah, uh, and then, uh, matter of fact, I still have a scar here on my forehead from when I first learned to roller skate. Got the roller skates on, and there's <clears throat> big sidewalk in the back there, and we I was skating on it, and couldn't stand up. And a couple of the guys, older guys, said, "Here, we'll, we'll get you going." And they gave me a push, and I ended up in, running into the corner of the building. So that's how I got that scar. <laughs> so, uh, I can't remember a lot of the people who were there, but uh, it was, uh, of course. That's been what? Uh, how many years ago has that been? 50 years ago, probably. Mm -hmm. 50, 60 years ago. And of course, a lot of them probably moved away, and, and there's probably been some that's passed away, too. So, uh, but it was, all in all, it was enjoyable. Good. Did, no, when, you, did, when you went in, uh, or when you were there, did you see much of your brothers and sisters who were in at the same time? Oh yeah, we saw them. You saw them daily. Did I mean, you? Yeah. At, uh, uh, we and we couldn't. Uh, uh, well, we could, we couldn't go on the girls' side, and the girls couldn't come to the boys' <coughs> side. They kept us separated, which was uh, probably a good thing at the time. Uh, yeah. But throughout the day, uh, you'd run into you know you'd, they'd be doing their stuff or whatever, and uh, you had certain things you had to do. So. It will. Sorry, good enough. It was, you know, like playtime or whatever you want to call it. Whenever we didn't have anything to do and we was allowed to play, we, you know, you ran into. We, uh, we had, uh, I can't remember the lady's name, but uh, once you got up out of bed and got your bed made, you no longer were allowed on the third floor. And you had to stay down on the second floor. Times we <coughs> we <coughs> we try to sneak back up to the third floor, and she chases with a dust mop and tells us get back downstairs. <laughs> so <laughs> she didn't want anybody dirtying up that yeah. that floor after she got it clean. So I guess yeah. And uh, it was uh, what what kind of jobs did you have to do? Do you remember? Oh, uh, basically, you know, not nothing. Hard, you know, make your bed in the morning, uh, and kind of clean up things. That's basically about all. Yeah. You know, we didn't, uh, uh, like I say, the, the older ones, you know, they had actual chores to do. So. Was that with the farm animals? With the farm animals, uh, you know, uh, milking the cows, getting the cows into the barn, uh, picking the eggs out of the hen house, uh, Feed. feeding the hogs and that type of thing. Uh, and then they used to do their own butcher down there, and uh, that was a unique experience for a guy my age at the time. Uh, did you get to participate in it, or you got to watch? You got to watch. Uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, like I say, very, very unique. It was, and uh, I guess they used their own uh, their own uh, meat for the, for the for the kids in the home. It was to eat. Uh, Still remember, you know, seeing three hogs being butchered at the same time. So uh, I don't know who did the butchering, but mm -hmm. the, the older boys always helped with the, mm -hmm. it. Was <laughs> an experience. Yeah. Did you see the cows and hogs out there when they were grazing around? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had uh, a 
pasture field down the back, and then there was one to the to the west of the um, called the uh, hog pen, uh, and uh, they graze and uh, went all the way down to the <coughs> to the railroad tracks down uh, to the south of the children's home, and uh, in the winter time, that was a place where we did our sleigh riding. We used to, because there was a steep hill and it would flatten out down the bottom, go all the way to the railroad tracks. And someone got a bright idea one time of taking some water out of the watering trough and pouring down there and letting it freeze to see if we could make it all the way to the railroad tracks. Well, it worked because a couple of us went into the fence down by the <laughs> railroad tracks. And uh, we'd always go down when, the, when we heard a train coming and uh, of course, the train guys were always they wave at us and call at us, so it was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> what was playtime like? Uh, other other than like you say, sledding and uh, just just anything that you know, uh, baseball, throwing football, or uh, playing tag or hide and seek. Uh, just kick the can. I don't know. Uh, we used to we used to play that quite a bit. Uh, Just about any any little little games that you could play, and uh, was it was it only with kids in the children's home? Yes, you yeah. didn't have kids no. coming from outside. No, no kids from that I could, no. I mm-hmm. I don't think there was any kids that was involved from outside. Uh, they uh, <clears throat> quite a, you know it was quite an area to play in because it was it's pretty uh, pretty good sized place. I mean, <clears throat> the front yard was. Well, Pretty good size. Of course, out back was a good size area. Uh, it's changed a little bit. I've been down there a couple times here lately, uh, just to see what it looked like, and uh, it's changed since then. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. Did Did you go on field trips or any kind of trips to? Um, Sightsee or anything like that? I don't remember any. I don't think they ever did. Uh, 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 That's fine. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you, um, you said about the Rockwell employees would come around Christmas time mm-hmm. and take you shopping. Do you remember uh, anything more about that? Uh, maybe what stores you might have gone to or any gifts you might have gotten? Or, oh. If not, that's fine. I'm yeah. just wondering. Yeah, I got. Uh, I'm just trying to think. It was. Uh, Penny's was one that we went to, I believe. And. But I do remember one year getting a sled for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was all excited about getting the sled out. We didn't have any snow, so. <laughs> It's kind of hard to ride a sled without any snow, but uh, it was fairly warm Christmas Day that year. I think as in case the temperature got up into into the fifties, I believe it was. So <laughs> snow didn't stick around very long, fifty degrees. But in uh, in the in the kids that were there were uh, would let you play with their toys and that type of thing, and vice versa. You know there was. Of course, you'd always have a little kid squabble, you know, about well, this is mine, and mm-hmm. someone would step in and say, "Well, now you can play with that, or you can play with this." So it was, mm-hmm. it, 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 it worked out all right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, was uh, do you remember much about the discipline that they had there? Uh, yeah, they, uh, you know, uh, we had just like any other kids. We had kids that would uh, try to defy what they were supposed to do, but. It was, uh, it was, wasn't strict, but I mean, when, you know, it, uh, uh, when you, you know, you were told to do something, you were expected to do it, just like, like you are today, but uh, there was always someone who pushed the envelope, but, you know, they, they see they couldn't get very far and they would conform to whatever they were told to do. <laughs> And I do 
you remember uh, there was a family kind of took an interest in my brother and uh, they took him to church on Sunday and when he came back I asked him about uh, where'd you go to church and he said I went to the Catholic church I said well you're not Catholic <laughs> that kind of that kind of bothered me that they took him to a Catholic church but I thought he was going to become a Catholic on it, but he didn't. <laughs> so, Did any of you, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I just, I, you know, it was kind of, it, it kind of bothered me at the mm -hmm. time when he told me, so I just, uh, yeah, they uh, they would come and get him every once in a while, huh. and like for Sunday dinner or that type of thing. And then, uh, I believe it was, was it Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, your parents could come down and visit with you, uh, and that was that was always nice, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, uh, my father was in a TV sanitarium, mm -hmm. and mom was working at the uh, L and K restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, she couldn't make it down all the time. But when she when she came down, that was that was good to come, you know, get to see them every once in a while. Would they be able to take you away from the home for an hour or so, or you just, just visit with them there at the home? Do you remember no, I about don't, that? No, I, I was trying to think whether they'd ever let us go or not. Uh -huh. uh, and, and they might have, but I can't. I can't remember whether we'd ever get to leave with them or not. But uh, speaking of leaving, I know there were there were times that we would. Uh, jump the fence on the west side of the building and run up to the dairy aisle on East Main Street. <laughs> I heard that from Paul Hottinger. Yeah. <laughs> Hoping we wouldn't get caught. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, uh, we always tried to make sure someone was watching out for us. <laughs> so, so you made it to the dairy aisle yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Interesting. And I, I don't know how we got our money, but somehow we got some money we go to the dairy aisle. And, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, at those uh, ice cream socials, you said you you gave tours. Did did the children there help set up the tables and all that, or was that the staff who? I, I they help they help set up the stuff, and then there was people would come in, and of course uh, uh, they had to make the homemade ice cream right there, oh. and. Uh, I can remember quite a few people coming through the, yeah. t to visit and uh, you know, just to see what it was like. Uh, uh, I call them Mama Pop Zerger. Mm -hmm. I think everybody did. Yeah. Because, uh, they were just wonderful people. Uh, matter of fact, I still see their daughter every once in a while. Okay, Dorothy. Dorothy, yes. Yeah, we interviewed her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Zerger was in the. Uh, nursing home when my wife's grandmother was in there and uh, I used to stop in and see her periodically. I don't know whether she remembered me or not, but at the time she was 101 years old huh. so and uh, I think she was had just turned 102, passed away, but uh, I would, I'd stop in and see her and, and I'd tell her who I was. And, she said she remembered, but whether she did or not, you don't know. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, there's something I was thinking of, and I forgot now. <laughs> um, oh, what what was it like going to school? I guess there you got to mix with kids from outside. Yeah, the, outside, the outside the school. Yeah, uh, uh, you walked to Hazelwood. Walked to Hazelwood. Of course, there was a traffic light there, and we go across the street, Main Street, and then down to Hazelwood. Uh, and I was in the Cub Scouts when, mm -hmm. when and I did get to go, go to Cub Scout meetings, and uh, I can still remember my Cub Scout leader. Her name was uh, Martha Hill, and uh, matter of fact, her daughter is uh, Marsha Phelps, oh. <laughs> and uh, she was our Cub Scout leader. And they lived right on the corner of. Uh, East Main and O'Bannon Avenue at the time, okay. <clears throat> and <clears throat> uh, that was we got to intermingle that way too. And uh, of course, school act 
activities. A good friend of ours at the church, her mother was passed away here about five or six years ago, and she was going through her stuff, and she found a uh, uh, a play that we were in when we was in the second grade down there. And her mother was our school teacher, and there was a picture of me in the, in the play and uh, a little card that I had written to. Uh, to uh, Mrs. Holler at the time, so she wanted to know that she wanted me to know that she still had it. So, huh? Uh, what what play was it? Do you know, or do you know what remember what part you played? Boy, <laughs> the song comes to me every now and then, but I can't. <laughs> but I can't think of it right now. That's all right. <laughs> it was. So you did get to take part in the school. Oh yeah, school activities. Yeah, yeah school activity. Yeah, and they. Uh, they didn't limit you, you know, when, if you had something to do for the school once, you know, it was, uh, I was trying to, there was, I'm like you, or something just crossed my mind a while ago, and I can't remember what it was now. Uh, While you're thinking of it, maybe, maybe it'll come to you. Um, did, you mentioned about your brother being taken to the Catholic Church. Did, did you or your brother end up going to any other churches around there while you're in the home? No, uh, I don't remember going to any church services. Uh, I think at one point they had some services in the home, but that, that may have been before you were in there. I have a feeling that it seemed to me like earlier. Like there were, maybe, a, maybe there was a, a I can't remember. after we had breakfast on Sunday morning I think maybe either a, a time or two there might have been like a church service okay. in, in the dining <laughs> area itself so mm -hmm. yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah okay hey, did you this is getting off the topic of the children's home but um, your your dad was in the TB hospital mm -hmm. did you ever see see him there or yes. visit there yes. well, do you have any memories of that because we're we have some records of the TB sanatorium. Uh, I went to see him, uh, I don't know how many times, but yeah, I can just remember, uh, of course, it was a big building to me at the time. Uh, and uh, I can just picture there was a, like a balcony out in front of his room he came to the window when he saw us pull up, and of course we went up. Uh, see, was it a, like a visitation room or something where we mm -hmm. got together? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think that was only a couple times I got to go up there, mm -hmm. and then uh, then after after we got out of the children's home, he was he in there for? Maybe he got out before then. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a, you know, it seemed to me like it was a long way from the children's home to the mm -hmm. TV stand. Yeah. Of course, uh, that goes with the age, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because perspective changes uh, over time. Yeah, sure yeah. does, yeah. <laughs> um, anything else you remember about the children's home or any impressions? Mm. If not, that's fine. You've already given us a lot of good information. No, I can just well, uh, yeah. There was there was a couple of times when uh, Mr. Oxley, which uh, he was the gardener, so to speak, and we'd be working in the garden, weeding or pulling or whatever, harvesting some of the crops. We had a uh, fruit cellar it was in under the ground. And uh, when you went in the door, right to the to the uh, left of you was oh well, I don't know how many crocs, but uh, <clears throat> it was a cabbage we picked and turned it into sauerkraut. <laughs> Mr. Oakley always had a metal cup hanging there, and he pulled the top of it off and reached down and gave him sauerkraut, and, uh, just to 
have something to drink, I guess. And <laughs> I remember trying it a couple times. I thought, boy, that stuff is awful sour. But, <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah and, and anytime you ask him a question, and the answer was yes, he'd always say yes, yes, yes. Always three times. That sticks in my mind to this day. And, uh, uh, he was uh, he was a good man. He uh, he treated treated the kids. You know, he didn't holler at them if they. He'd tell them what to do, and if they didn't know how to do it, he'd show them how to do it. Hmm. And that, that was working in the garden? Yeah, he, in the he garden. with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he hmm. tells what to pull and what not to pull. And <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have known the difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't know. It was, uh, I don't know whether that was all of the younger kids or whether it was just a select few that got to do that, but I remember I, I did it there one, two years, I believe it was, I don't know. And, uh, mm-hmm. Give you something different to do. Yeah. Did Did you uh, learn any skills like gardening or anything like that that you kind of took with you later? Uh, do you remember? N- not really. I mean, you know, I uh, I'm always uh, I plan a little garden myself now. I don't know whether that that stuck with <laughs> me from then or or whether it was just uh, something to do. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah. What do you remember about the about leaving the home or your last days there or your first days away from there? I I uh I, to, I don't remember actually them saying, Well, you know, you get to you get to go home on such and such a date. Uh uh but uh, I don't say I must have been my last day there or whenever they come to pick me up. Uh, uh, I was, uh, I think I had some mixed feelings about it, you know. How not only leaving there, but you know, how things were going to be at home, you know, because uh, mom had worked and, and dad was up there at the TV sanitarium. And, I had mixed, mixed feelings that day. Mm-hmm. Makes mean, sense. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I don't say it was joyous mm-hmm. leaving or it was sad. Uh, I just, I just didn't know what to think. Sure, that's, that's understandable. Yeah. Did you stay in in the Newark area? Yes, from uh, the whole time till now. <clears throat> yes, uh, we've been. Uh, uh, I think we moved up on. Uh, Oh boy, where did we move after that? Up on Riley Street, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, been, been in this area ever since. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's something, uh, I should have thought to do this before we start recording, but since we're recording here in the records department, I'll, uh, if, you have, if you have a few minutes, mm-hmm. I'll go pull some pictures we have from the children's home, see if any of that looks familiar. If not, that's fine. But uh, I'll just pause this here. And uh, yeah, so now we're, we've are we got some pictures. Actually, Dorothy Zerger collected these. Oh, did she? Some of them probably were passed down from her parents. But, uh, but yeah, there's several of them with real small children. Mm-hmm. Some, I'll pull out some later ones here. Oh, okay. Uh, but I think they're later. But I, do you remember this station wagon? I guess the Zergers had a station yeah, wagon. Yeah, they had a station wagon. Paul Hottinger remembered uh, mm-hmm. being in there and, and teasing Mr. Zerger about his driving, I think. <laughs> Uh, he would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then this this looks like maybe on the boys' side, uh-huh. running out to go play. I, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's a few pictures of, I guess, get getting together for some field trips. Now, 
were you and Paul in there at the same time? Mm-hmm. Do you, you remember? You? Mm-hmm. And he thought, he wasn't sure, but here's a picture of some boys and girls and some of the staff, I think. But he thought, this is him in this picture. I, he wasn't sure, but do you, you don't recognize anybody in that one, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that sure does look an awful lot like him. <laughs> huh. Mm-hmm. I guess the one he thought that's the one, two, three, fourth from the left in the front row. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sure does look an awful lot like him. <laughs> I don't know what the occasion was. Doesn't doesn't say on the back, but and this is a group of girls going on some trip. Uh, by the haircuts, I'm guessing that's a little earlier. Mm-hmm. But that's that same picture you saw. And then I think this is when uh, a fraternal organization donated some books to the children's home. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I think we're kind of short on pictures of the time when you were there. Otherwise, oh, here's one on another field trip, I guess. Okay, so this this long picture where it has a school bus and several children and some policemen out front, it's, uh, let's see, it looks like sort of the front row, the second one. Mm-hmm. It looks like your brother David, you say? Yes. Huh, okay. Yeah, sadly we don't know where they were going. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, looks like the policemen were taking them out on a trip. <laughs> These are some reunion pictures from the late eight, or 1980s. Jeez. And just so you know, the commissioners are possibly going to have some kind of event in conjunction with when they tear the building down, maybe mm-hmm. a reunion or some kind of event where they give away bricks from the building. So uh-huh. we'll, we'll try to keep you posted on that. Oh, okay. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of news clippings too. If you ever want to look through those, you're welcome to. Okay, well, um, unless you had anything else you wanted to say, we can sign off. No, I can't think of anything else. Uh, well, that's I, I, you gave us a lot of good information, so I thank you for that, mm-hmm. and um, and then we'll be in touch about okay. what happens okay. with the with the home. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm.